Hello and welcome back to the next section of our book. We're reading The Enormous Crocodile. And if you remember yesterday, the crocodile had met all the different animals in the jungle, the roly-poly bird, humpy rumpy, trunky and mugglewump. And he had set off towards the town because he was trying to find some juicy children to eat. Shall we see what happens next? All right. Here we go. The enormous crocodile crept over to a place where there were a lot of coconut trees. He knew that children from the town often came here looking for coconuts. The trees were too tall for them to climb, but there were always some coconuts on the ground that had fallen down. The enormous crocodile quickly collected all the coconuts that were lying on the ground. He also gathered together several fallen branches. I wonder what he's going to do? Any ideas? Now for clever trick number one, he whispered to himself. It won't be long before I'm eating the first part of my lunch. He took all the coconut branches and held them between his teeth. He grasped the coconuts in his front paws and then he stood up straight in the air, balancing himself on his tail. Gosh, he must be very strong. He arranged the branches and the coconuts so cleverly that he now looked exactly like a small coconut tree standing among the big coconut trees. Can you see? <gasps> He's disguised himself as a coconut tree. It is quite a clever trick, isn't it? Soon, two children came along. They were brother and sister. The boy was called Toto and his sister was called Mary. They walked around looking for fallen coconuts, but they couldn't find any because the enormous crocodile had gathered them all up. Oh, look! cried Toto. That tree over there is much smaller than the others and it's full of coconuts. I think I could climb that one quite easily if you could help me with up with the first bit. Uh-oh. Toto and Mary ran towards what they thought was the small coconut tree. The enormous crocodile peered through the branches, watching them as they came closer and closer. He licked his lips and began to dribble with excitement. Very hungry. <gasps> Suddenly, there was a tremendous whooshing noise. It was Humpy Rumpy, the hippopotamus. He came crashing and snorting out of the jungle. His head was down low and he was galloping at terrific speed. Look out, Toto, shouted Humpy Rumpy. Look out, Mary. That's not a coconut tree. It's the enormous crocodile and he wants to eat you up. Humpy Rumpy charged straight at the enormous crocodile. He caught him with his giant head and sent him tumbling and skidding over the ground. Ow! cried the crocodile. Help! Stop! Where am I? Toto and Mary ran back to the town as fast as they could. I think I probably would have done as well. Thank goodness for Humpy Rumpy. But crocodiles are tough. It is difficult for even a hippopotamus to hurt them. The enormous crocodile picked himself up and crept towards the place where the children's playground was. Now for clever trick number two, he said to himself. This one is certain to work. There were no children in the playground at that moment and they were all in school. The enormous crocodile found a large piece of wood and placed it in the middle of the playground. Can you see what he's going to do? <gasps> then he lay across the piece of wood and tucked in his feet so that he looked almost exactly like a seesaw. That's quite clever. When school was over, the children all came running onto the playground. Oh, look, they cried, we got a new seesaw. They all crowded round, shouting with excitement. Bags I have first go, I'll get on the other end. I want to go first, so do I, so do I. Then a girl who was older than the others said, 
is a rather funny, knobbly sort of seesaw, isn't it? Do you think it will be safe for us to sit on? Of course it will, the other said. It looks as strong as anything. It does, doesn't it? Can you see? There we go. The enormous crocodile opened one eye just a tiny bit and, the, and watched the children who were crowding around him. Soon, he thought, one of them is going to sit on my head and then I will jerk and snap and after it will be a yum, yum, yum. At that moment, there was a flash of brown and something jumped into the playground and hopped up onto one of the swings. It was Mugglewump the monkey. Run, Mugglewump shouted to the children. All of you, run, run, run. That's not a seesaw. It's the enormous crocodile and he wants to eat you up. The children screamed and ran for their lives. Mugglewump disappeared back into the jungle and the enormous crocodile was left all alone in the playground. Oh dear. Serves him right though, doesn't it? He cursed the monkey and waddled back into the bushes to hide. I'm getting hungrier and hungrier, he said. I shall have to eat at least four children now before I am full up. The enormous crocodile crept around the edge of the town, taking great care not to be seen. He came to a place where they were getting ready to have a fair. There were slides and swings and dodgem cars and people selling popcorn and candy floss. There was also a big roundabout <gasps> and that's where we're going to leave it for today so head on back to your English English lesson and I will see you again tomorrow for the next installment I wonder what's going to happen take care <laughs>